Good afternoon, my people. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. It's been a long day for me. Uh, I've been stuck at, uh, at the computer for uh, probably about since uh, 8 o'clock this morning. Um, just being a student and trying to learn all the stuff that I can learn uh, and in the process of giving me that information to you. So today is the third part uh, of the series, 10 part series of uh, how to uh, not make mistakes that new renter owners uh, make when they're buying property. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And today's segment is uh, forgetting to include the closing costs in your calculations. Um, this is another major one. Um, it might not seem that major, but uh, it's, it's major. Uh, you're talking about anywhere from uh, a few thousand dollars and uh, a few thousand dollars adds up it makes a difference um, especially when you are spending money that uh, you saved and worked for um, and then at the end of the day uh, they come and they say listen uh, you're short four or five grand for this particular cost and this particular uh, fee uh, so it's very important that you have uh, this stuff down, um, I would really uh, advise you to get a tax consultation uh, because there's so much stuff going on here uh, that it's ridiculous. Um, two of the biggest things that we have uh, is the lenders, okay, and then we have third party fees. So the lenders are, are going to be your banks and the people that are lending you the money to buy the house uh, because obviously if it's a $300,000 house or a $200,000 house you don't have that money or I wouldn't spend $300,000 cash uh, to buy a house so you're going to get some help from the lender um, and there are costs associated with this of course and then there is the third party uh, closing costs. So closing costs essentially are anything that is not related to the property. All right, so you're talking about discount points, you're talking about appraisals, you're talking about uh, title insurance, uh, uh, Appraisal costs, application fees, escrow, uh, attorney recording fees. Um, there's even some government taxes for recording the sale. Uh, there's all different types of stuff you need to be aware of. So again, it's so important that you understand these costs. So I'm dealing with the lenders uh, there's something called discount coins or mortgage points and really what they are are points that are one percent of the cost of your house so for example if your house costs two thousand uh, dollars two hundred thousand dollars then your mortgage point or your discount point is two thousand dollars okay so I'm gonna say that again your mortgage points or discount points are one percent of the cost of your home so if your home is costing three thousand dollars okay that's six thousand dollars in points okay so it is essential that you understand whether or not you need to buy down and make the price cheaper over the long haul or maybe you don't need to buy down. Um, there's also what they call mortgage-free lending, okay, where the, the lender is going to pay for everything, all right? And essentially, uh, there is no such thing. Uh, I mean, they call it that, but uh, he's going to get his cost back with your mortgage rate. That's what he's going to do. He's going to, he's going to, the, the rate that he charges you will be a lot more expensive than it would normally be. So, 
these are things that you need to be aware of. Um, and, and again, I said this, this third party cost. Um, the discount rate, uh, we spoke about the point system. Um, this is just stuff that I would get a tax consultation, okay? Because a lot of times what the mortgage lenders do is they use language that you're not used to. So when you go to compare from different lenders, the language is different. So you now you're not sure of what this person is saying and what this person is saying. So what you should do is in total, so find out what the total is gonna be in the cost from the mortgage lender. And that way you can go to the next lender because you will have a total of everything that they said. <clears throat> and then you can go to the next lender and get another total from him and then you can compare prices. Because trying to decipher what these guys are talking about, they're all using different languages and they're all using different uh, ideologies and, and stuff like that and it just makes it too difficult for the average person to understand so again um, you you want to have a tax accountant there with you so you can go over this stuff and 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 not get taken in because uh, at the end of the day everybody's out for commission they're out to make their commission and I'm not saying that bad people are wrong people but at the end of the day, if you don't know what's going on, this is going to hurt you because, again, we're in this to produce cash flow. And if this is not in the calculations, it messes with your cash flow. And at the end of the day, you'll be stuck in a deal that's a bad deal. And then you're going to be trying to work on a, a rule of thumb or something like that. And, and, and again this is not the situation that you're going to want to be in all right you want to be in a situation where you have the most control where you understand what the issue is okay what the what the point system is uh what whether it's a zero cost loan all these different things uh your credit report uh your application fees uh your title insurance the escrow account all these different fees you need to understand okay you need to understand it needs to be on the table they have what they call a good faith estimate where your lender is supposed to itemize each of these things for you so you are able to know what's going on but it's up to you they're not going to sit down and explain everything to you if you don't ask any questions so it's up to you to knowledge, to have the knowledge in the, in the weather ball to go forth and ask the questions that need to be asked. And if you don't have the time, then you hire an attorney, all right, to do it for you. You want to go over this good faith estimate brick by brick by brick to understand what exactly is my bottom cost at the end of the day and once you find your bottom cost now you can go to another lender and go through the same process and then you'll be able to compare which lender is best for you all right so again uh be aware of the mortgage points um they are good for long term um but over the short term they might not be the best deal all right, so again, this is something that you need to figure out. You need to do some research. You need to study, okay? And if you don't have time to study, then you need to find a tax consultant who has the best options and answers for you so that you truly understand what is the best route that you need to go, all right? So with that being said, um, I'm going to close out. Uh, it's been a long day. Uh, I ask you to like. I ask you to share. I ask you to subscribe. Um, there's also a free book uh, for wholesalers uh, that uh, I'm giving away. Um, so all you got to do is click on my site. Uh, you'll get the book free. 
um, and you gives you some more information on how to deal with old school wholesaling to the new digital age wholesaling. So with that being said, my friends, I'm going to bid you goodbye uh, and take it easy. Uh, it's almost nighttime and my day is gone, but it's been fun. It's been a learning experience for myself and I enjoy what I'm doing right now. Um, I, 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 I really couldn't find a better way to spend my time than learning uh, what I'm learning. Uh, so it's been a good day. All right. God bless. Peace.